you know you got that cheese down there and you get these peppers this is going to take your stuffed bell pepper presentation to the table to the next level these are what we call a blooming stuffed bell pepper Thank y'all for stopping by camp and don't I look good today. Now you can remember if you would our baked potato video and we asked folks to help us out to pick out our next wardrobe to have me looking good from Ariat since they are a sponsor. So people wore that thing out they did and I would really like to thank Angela because she said she'd have made her big man get on a computer and pick out what? This Paniole Western shirt right here. Woo! The big reveal is coming. It's but eight. I want to say also, they said you would rock that bad boy. It is nice. It's a whole lot cooler than that wintertime robe you had but me we wear. We have to do a reveal. But wait, there's more. You have to be having some pretty nice looking pants. And I don't know how to pronounce this name. I think it's Dario like that. He was supposed to pick out pants, but he didn't. He picked out shorts and he said, <laughs> you must wear your boots with these shorts. I really like all the pockets and they're easy to get in for me. So I think I'm gonna have another set like this, but the Skeeters is really bad. I hope y'all don't mind. I'm gonna put on some real bridges. You know, we're talking about stuffed bell peppers. That's plural, right? Because we're not just stuffing a bell pepper. We're gonna add more stuffing with peppers inside of peppers. That's what we're talking about. Anaheim's are what I have right here. We need to go ahead and get them to roasting. So let's go ahead and put them right there on old Bertha, our trusty wood stove, because she has got a bunch of mesquite in there and she will do the job. But we're gonna get some of that mesquite smoke flavor to venture up through there and get on them peppers too. Now we got three bell peppers and you can use whatever color you want to, but I prefer these right here instead of the green, I do. And you know a lot of times when people stuff bell peppers, they'll just stuff them and then they'll put them in the oven. This never gets done to me. Shan, she likes hers. What's that favorite word that she used about that guy that drove through the hailstorm and his name was Al and what happened to his pickup? Al dente. Me, I like mine to have a little more soft texture to them, but we're gonna give them a little heat and a little smoke here to get some flavor. So got them all set out there. It's probably time that we roll these back over again. Oh my gosh, that is hot. Them Anaheim's is ready to come off there. Y'all have seen me do this trick many times. A little bit of water in a plastic sack. Let's get them peppers in there and let them sweat. They'll peel so easy here in a minute. We also have I can our smell them. Yeah, they are good. We also got that stargazer up there preheating, so make sure you got your cast iron good and hot. Just seal that up, set it somewhere out of place. That water will go to steaming, it'll peel easy. You know, on these bell peppers, I don't want them charred like them Anaheim's were. I just want them to have a little bit of blistering to them. We're just softening these peppers up and giving them some flavor. You can see that one there is probably ready to go. So we're gonna set him right over here for the time being. It don't take them long. We just need to get them to where they're really good and tender. Got some of that good mesquite smoke flavoring. Well, got me one pound of certified Angus beef, 80-20 ground beef in there. And that stargazer is hot. Hear that sound, that is a beautiful sound. Things jumped out of my hand, they did. Go ahead and let's get that chopped up really well. While that's cooking, when it begins to just brown just a little, we're gonna add one medium-sized white onion. Now, if you're cooking this in the house, I'd say it's over medium heat. On Bertha, we're over, where's the knob at? Oh, she ain't got one. She's hot, that's what she is. You know, when you're browning some meat in cast iron, I think probably the best thing that you can use is wood against cast iron because you're not harming the seasoning of your skillet. Uh, plastic, you know, it, it'll work sometimes, but it's apt if you ain't paying attention, you'll melt some of it in there. We're gonna brown this up till we probably cook most of the grease out of it. We're gonna use our chili seasoning. Well, we have got this cooked throughout, we do, and we're gonna add some rice. 
If you're having a little trouble cooking rice, we do have the perfect rice video that you can watch to learn how to cook that rice. And we just cooked up one cup of white rice. Is it minute or regular? No, this is regular rice. You can use long grain wild rice. You can use white rice. You can use Uncle Ben's three minute rice or whatever that is. And you can see most of that grease cooked out of that meat but it also is going to help that rice is going to soak up some of that good flavor that that meat grease had in it from that seasoning so get her mixed up well and to that right now and it's always last because you never want to put garlic in too early you'll burn it up in one of these deals oh that is hot so we have three garlic cloves if i can get the gun loaded Now, I'm telling you right now, we could just have that for breakfast with a spoon and a flour tortilla and you wouldn't need nothing else, but them peppers have sacrificed themselves over the open fire, so let's get them stuffed. I'll meet y'all at the chuck box. Well, the meat is browned up, everything is ready to go, but first we need to go ahead and make sure that we can get these Anaheims all peeled up. Now, you can just take that rub that sack with your hands like this to get that really started because folks we're not actually stuffing these theirself with anything that's got meat on them we're stuffing them inside the pepper there but they have a very important role so you can see see how that skin just peeled right off there i mean better than any sunburn you ever had in your life ain't it shan and them are hot we got them peeled up really nice go ahead and let's just take them stems off there just go ahead and you can take your finger and run down through there we just need to lay these out flat but these green chilies are going to give it so much flavor it is and it's you told me it's, it's going to look like a blossom yes because we're going to make a masterpiece when we stuff these so we're just going to cut these right in half to where you have strips but i need to tell you this right off the bat so many times when people stuff peppers and they put cheese on top you, do you know the poor people that get the last bite at the bottom have never seen cheese? They didn't even know there was cheese in there. That's and so sad. It is sad. So I'm going to start with a little bit of mozzarella, and it don't take much. And you can see if there's any moisture in there. Watch this. Oh, wow. Get that out. Okay, we don't need that in there. It makes our cheese look bad. So just take you a little pinch there and just mash her down right in the bottom. Then next, take your pepper and just lay it in there to where, see that petal? That is the rose petal that's coming out. Lay her down in there. And you can put as many of these as you want in there. Just stuff them down there to the bottom of that cheese. Get you some meat. And I don't know if any of you ever reloaded shotgun shells, but when you do, you had a primer and stuff and then you seeded it down in there and you didn't just leave it in there and pack the powder just a little. No, you want to make sure that everybody is going to get something out of this. So tamp it down there full. It's like an old flint lock rifle and you was loading it and you had that ramrod and you'd be having to mash that bullet down there on that powder. We are good to like go. Is it like the Dairy Queen Blizzard? Can you turn it over? Oh, oh. So that's the goodness of cheese on the bottom. And I'll tell you something, that old cowboy Ken here has already made a mistake. When you go to look for peppers, look for the peppers that will stand up. This guy here, he's a little, he's got a bad leg on one side, so he'll have to be leaned up with somebody else. This is a really good camping recipe because you could do some of this ahead of time and when you got to the campsite you could put the rest of it together but to me it would be a great recipe for a beginner in a Dutch oven because everything is nearly cooked plumb through all you do is really just rewarming it and we're going to melt some cheese on there so, sitting on a tall trivet today we are cooking with 100% pure mesquite wood is what's happening makes a good hearty lumpy coal loaded up really heavy around the bottom on the outside edge of the Dutch oven and the top of the lid is loaded heavy as well. Probably take about 15 to 20 minutes cook time in here because we're warming everything back up. We just want to make sure that we get that sizzle in there and warm everything back through to where it is a good hot temperature and then we're going to top it off with cheese, let it melt really well. It'll be nearly ready to go.
that a pretty sight it is. Now, you see me over when we was cooking, and it probably been on about 15 to 20 minutes, and you just pull that lid up there, you can see that hamburger meat is actually browned some more, so I know everything is warm throughout. So then I'm gonna get me some of that shredded mozzarella and I'm gonna lay it up on there. It's gonna get all bubbly and brown when it cooks about maybe five to eight more minutes. You wanna just see all that bubblicious goodness just raise up there to the top. You could top this with some kind of salsa or maybe some enchilada sauce, something like that. But y'all know me folks, I'm, I love hatch green chili. But I was looking for people that really made this product, but I wanted it to be made in the Hatch Valley. Well, that's when we found the Fresh Chili Company. And we used some of their stuff in a previous video we, we did before, the Corn Dodgers, and I'm thinking, oh my God, this stuff is good. So I'm, I wanted to try all of their products. So I just reached in there this morning, got me some what? Fresh red chili medium. I mean, and they, I mean, they have a ton oh, of different stuff. They have like we all started, kinds. We started with the green chilies, but now we're just kind of we're going through. Up. But hey, I will tell everybody, if you're at all like heat sensitive, I do recommend the mild. But it's so authentic that southwestern New Mexico flavor that the Hatch Valley that that ground just knows how to grow green chilies and red chilies. So I am fit to have me a bite of this. I'm just going to cut right through here, and. Ooh, see that cheese on the bottom this fell out there, Meiji? Oh my gosh, look at that. We'll cut this bite right here. I want to get me, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, folks. I'm just going to eat it like it was a piece of pizza. Mm. 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 There we go. Mm. The flavors you get out of that just blow you away. Uh, the sweetness really that the bell pepper uh, brings out is what really grabs you at the front, but then you get all that melted cheese, the green chili, and <clears throat> that red chili sauce on top will just blow you out of the world. It will. It is a great thing. I, I would just like to start by thanking all our great fans for helping me out with my wardrobe selection. Somebody said I was even looking dapper. Yeah, buddy, I'm all about dapper. I'd like to thank the folks at Ariat for making me always look good. So be sure and check out all their stuff they got over there. You can find our page, the Kent Rollins Favorites. But it is with pride, honor, and privilege that I tip my hat to all our servicemen and women and all the veterans who have kept that old flag of flying over camp. We commend you all. Rest of you, get on up in here. I'm just gonna grab this one. Come on, get up here close. I am gonna give you a great big hug. God bless you each and every one and I'll see you down the stuffed bell pepper trail. <coughs> oh my God, it's gonna be really hot. People don't wear stuff like this. They... This is what, like 85 degrees out? There ain't no, ro ain't no tie. This is cheap. Hurry, I'm cooking. Okay. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? Uh-uh, never. I mean, there's a lot of people there. <laughs> Have so many folks in camp today waiting. Got a good drink? That's, like, that's fine dining. It's on your mouth. I was gonna take another bite. 